Hi, good day. My name is Ifion Shea and I'm giving a lightning talk on contributing to open source with technical writing. So first up, get to know me. I'm a software developer with Python and Julia. I'm learning Julia. I'm a technical writer. I write on various topics and I'm a lover of open source. So first off, we need to learn what open source is all about. What is open source before we move to technical writing? So what is open source? According to opensource.com, it refers to something people can modify and share because its design is publicly accessible. So basically, in simple terms, open source is source code that is made freely available for possible modification and redistribution. So open source, the code base is open, it's public, people can see the code, people can contribute, people can talk about it. And even though it's open doesn't mean it's free. There are laws, there are licenses that govern the open source ecosystem. So the junior community is built on open source and this has encouraged people to build and contribute to packages in the community. We've had a lot of packages in the community that is open source that people contribute to, that people use to work but how can we make these packages and projects more accessible and easy to use by the community how can we allow people to know about this package that we have there are various ways on how we can do this and one way we can do it is by technical writing so someone can ask like what is technical writing why is technical why should we do technical writing so first of all technical writing technical writing is the creation and management of content on technology topics and technology related topics so you writing about a technology or a technology related topic is referred to as open source and there are various forms of technical writing it is not limited to what is on this slide. I have various types. You have documentation, you have tutorials, you have research papers, you have instruction manuals, there are lots. So why should you be a technical writer? Or why should you practice technical writing? The more you research, the more you learn and you become an expert on various technical subjects. So when you uh, when you're into technical writing you research more because you want to provide accurate facts to people and from there you learn you become an expert in what you're doing you also teach your fellow developers what you know and how to help them solve your problems so as a tech as a technical writer you are teaching people what you've built you're teaching them how to go about it and how to help them solve their problems. You also develop a better sense of user empathy and pay closer attention to how readers and customers think rather than what you believe. So you won't be thinking from the engineer side, you also be thinking from the user side and it's also going to help you when you're trying to like build so that you don't build from a one man perspective alone. You build with other people's perspective and it also helps for your package to be better and to be more accessible by people and also you also increase your brand recognition and grow your network when you write you'll be giving yourself a name you'll be giving yourself a recognition so how can one now contribute to open source with technical writing after hearing all of this there are various ways i just listed a few in this slide number one write articles we have a lot of packages we have a lot of projects in the julia community you can pick one you can write about it you can build something with probably pluto.jl you can build something with franklin you can do something with any of these packages and you can write on it that is one way to contribute to open source and technical writing you are promoting the julia community look for projects on github anywhere they are contribute to their readmes so when you contribute to the readmes you are trying to update the version of documentation that was there before you are trying to make it up to date so that people that come to that particular package or to that particular repo they can see the updated version 
and it can it can be better for people for packages that don't use their readmes and documentation you can contribute to the actual documentation so you may have seen something that is not right probably a port number that is not right or has been outdated you can raise a pull request to where the repo of that documentation is and try to change it that's technical writing you've contributed create tutorials create to do guides so apart from writing articles you could have like a tutorial on something you could build probably a project with a package so that is one way of contributing to open source with technical writing so we have various tools in technical writing for you to begin it's quite simple you have your research tools you have google you have stack overflow you have binge you have reddit you have quora you have a lot then you also have note taking tools like google keep evernote notion you have google docs you have a lot but i'll just be listing a few then you have publishing tools you have dev2 dev2 is quite popular among devs you have ash node you have medium and also we have our forum community that is the julia forum which you can also publish your articles on so these are technical writing resources that you can use or you can get started with technical writing these resources can help you on how to how to make your technical writing skill better or how to begin one and i'll be sharing my slides after this talk and lastly thank you very much for coming to my talk i hope you enjoyed it